The Esare of Benin, Chief Stanley Obanwoye, who spoke on behalf of the Aba of Benin, gave the ruling after listening to the various submissions of parties in a petition written to the Benin monarch by some elders and community against Pa Igebo Imwatinya, who could not return to his community due to the alleged siege to his maternal home in the past. Chief Obanwoye explained that despite the head challenges of Pa Igebo Imwatinya, he remains the duly appointed Ojonwe of Obaiti by His Royal Majesty, Ewai II Oba Benin, to administer the community on his behalf without any interference by the medicine interlopers. Chief Eseri asserted that if the palace directive is flouted, Paomokao and some elders of the community will be held accountable. According to him, Ojonwe is the only one Omonoba duly authorized to administer the community on his behalf. More so when the community head is still alive. No other individual has the power or right to do so otherwise in line with many customs and tradition. Also cautioned elders of a biting community including Pa Gebo Omako who earlier requested the palace to explain the procedure for induction of worthy indigenous of the community into the elders council of the community not to allow youths to force them to make wrong decisions. Uh, Chief Uyi Okungboa, the Ogwa of Benin, and Chief Isaac Ogafwa, the Oyoba of Benin, who spoke in a similar vein, directed the second in command in the Biting community, Pa Igebo Mokau, and elders to make it a priority and personally present qualified indigenous of Biting community that are due to be inducted into the elders council of the community to the doorway for approval and thereafter perform the traditional rights. <laughs> Morning, I saw Johnny. One name, your name. Well, let me see. ITV News.